Welcome back everybody to Twitter National News, the only unbiased news network in the town. My name is David. I'm Jackson. And let's kick things off with Facebook. You guys remember that? Facebook is set to know where you are going before you do and send you targeted adverts for your destination after filing a new technology patent in the US. I actually don't know what adverts means. Oh, it's an advertisement. Facebook can blend behavioral patterns with those of friends and others to help it build up a picture of habits and guess your future movements, according to one of the patents which was made public last week. It looks like our favorite water drinker is up to his old tricks. How do we read more of this? Register for free or log in to your Telegraph account. Nope, moving on. A slashed tire, a pointed gun, bullies on the road. Why do Waymo self-driving vans get so much hate? Now, if it's one thing I don't tolerate, it's a bully. I can only imagine the turmoil that they cause. I can only imagine because I've never been bullied. Police have responded to dozens of calls regarding people threatening and harassing Waymo vans. The article basically goes on to discuss how there is a, well, there's some distaste and even violent attitudes toward this new artificial intelligence movement with innovations like self-driving cars because people are afraid they're gonna come in and take their jobs. Maybe. There was an even instance with one man who was driving in his self-driving car and he turned and saw a bearded man pointing a gun at him. Speaking of a bearded man, the new Aquaman film came out and the reviews are in. After decades of getting treated like a pop culture punchline, Aquaman finally has his own feature film. It's a weird and wonderful superhero adventure that strives, and almost succeeds, to be the most epic superhero movie ever made. Now, we could go on to read this one biased opinion on why the concept of this movie is good. Or, we could show you the comments of the article from people who actually went and saw the movie. DC and failure, Washington DC is having a war of its own. Is it corrupt officials? No. Uh, shady political fixtures? No. Rats. That's it. Washington DC is having a war on rats and has been voted the fourth rattiest city in the United States. Now what I don't understand about this article is why they're focusing on the fourth rattiest city. Chicago's number one. What makes the rats in DC so special? Because the DC rats are cooler. There's security camera footage of one even pulling a fire alarm and evacuating an entire apartment building. And apparently this isn't DC's first little squabble with rats. Back in 1967, a rat gnawing on power station wires knocked out electricity for nearly an hour in about a third of Washington. So here's my question. How do we get rid of these rats? I say we get cats for the rats, dogs for the cats, put the dogs in a bag, and swing them around at a bar. Because that's what this woman did. A woman, a Florida woman, put four baby chihuahuas in a bag with their mother and swing them around at a bar. And when confronted by the police to be arrested, she said no and moved away. She was charged with animal cruelty, resisting arrest, the chihuahuas are in good health, and we're allowed to talk about this because we live in Florida. Bye. Why do Waymo self-driving get so much hate? Let's just start over. We're no, that was funny.